All right, guys, let's talk uh, Chinese melons. This is always something that uh, I've seen in past trips to China, but haven't talked about because uh, I don't, well, a few reasons. One, I don't know what these things are. <laughs> Two, uh, I don't really like melons. And three, usually I'm in a rush. Uh, but now I've got a little bit of time. Or in four, sometimes they're really, really big. So, uh, yeah, but this time I've got some time and I managed to find several uh, small Chinese melons. So I can actually like eat these things without like, you know, throwing out like a ton of, of waste. You know, I kind of feel weird like buying like a giant melon, taking a bite out of it and then being like, okay, well I guess I gotta go back on a plane. Uh, some of these are actually quite expensive. Each one cost me maybe, like one or two dollars. But the first one I'm gonna talk about, I actually got at a supermarket. So this one was actually pretty cheap. This was uh, about like 80 cents. This one's not so bad. I've never seen a melon like this though. If you know what these melons are, you know, let me know because I, I have no clue. But here's the first one. It's got like a little sticker on the bottom. Cuts really easily. And here's the inside. Oh, that sticker didn't really do so well. Whoa. That's pretty uh, gnarly looking. Not a whole lot of flesh there. Um, tons of seeds. It is pretty soft. It smells okay. Like a mild, like, uh, cantaloupe kind of smell. Or honeydew smell. And sorry for any street noise. People talking and stuff like that. I am um, just doing this before I have to get back on a plane back home. So, not much I can do about that. Uh, okay. So, let's take a bite. Hmm. That's alright. Uh, it's interesting. It doesn't really taste like your, your typical melon. It doesn't really taste like, um, you would expect it to. It's got, like, an extra little flavor in there. It's not very sweet. I say it's maybe like um, a three out of ten. If ten's a sugar cube, it tastes like honeydew, but with something else. And that taste that's on top of that honeydew is a tomato. It's like savory, like a tomato is. It gives you like that kind of like mouth feel. I don't know how to really describe that feeling you get when you have a tomato, but you know the thing that makes tomatoes taste more like a vegetable and less like a fruit? That's in there. Oh, that's weird. It's not bad. It's just strange. I feel like you can like blend this up and put it like on pasta or something. Like, you'd use it for, like, a tomato-type dish. It's, it's a little sweeter than a tomato, and it does have a melony taste, but that's bizarre. It's kind of like not what I was expecting, but that, that's definitely in there. Next Chinese melon, I have this guy. No clue what this is. It's uh, a little dirty looking. <laughs> I picked this one because it was the smallest one that they had, but they had a few that were uh, a little bit bigger than this. Not much bigger, though. And what I like about it is it looks like a tiny little watermelon. Maybe it is a tiny little watermelon, but yeah, I have no clue, no idea. Pretty sure it's a melon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not um, like a vegetable or something because it does smell, well, it smells dirty, but it does smell kind of sweet. So first, let's cut this guy. Let me cut it in half. I want to get a cross section here. Whoa! Yeah, it actually looks similar to the uh, the last green one that I had. It smells like it too. Um, so maybe these are like somewhat related. I think it actually might be a hybrid of some kind with that last one. Mild honeydew. Tomatoes. Tastes very, very similar. However, this one's sweeter. It's maybe a little bit more melony tasting. 
and it's got a little bit of a tartness to it. It's very low, but a little bit, like a one or a two out of ten, if ten's a lemon. I reviewed those like little tiny little little mouse melons in the past, and you know, those are not melons, but uh, you know they are very cute. This one, it is a melon, and it, well, I mean, it's not a watermelon, but it is a melon. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I have no idea. But uh, my point is, I do like how it looks. It's very cute looking. The flavor of it, it's okay. Not, not incredible, but if you like melons, you might like this sort of thing, especially if you like uh, melons in, like, savory applications. I know you can use, like, a melon, like, in salads and stuff like that. Be good for that. There's going to be a preview at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. I just want to give a big shout out to all the mega contributors over on Patreon. Dr. Torgman, Altpod, FoodToLive.com, and the channel Smarter Every Day. Patreon is how this channel happens, so if you want to find out more about how you can contribute and help this channel grow, do click on the link in the description below or the one that's floating around me right now. I also have t-shirts for sale. This is the latest one, the Mandrake Root shirt, which is available on my website, also in the description below. Uh, this is not a huge channel. I'm trying to make it big. Leaving a comment or liking, subscribing, sharing, anything you could do, guys, does help me out quite a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.